this is a old, old cruiser bike. Pretty old. Let's see how rusted and beat up a bike can get today. So I don't fully know what brand bike this is. Right here on the head tube, it says Fonte or Hante or something like that. And over here, it says McKenna 5. McKenna 5? McKenna 5? I don't really know. It says 5. And then there's some stickers here. And I think I see Makaha 5. I don't, I don't really know what it says. I kind of think it's an N or an H. I'm not really sure. But the bike has definitely seen better days. A lot of it is rusted. I mean, like, there's a ton of chain. I don't even want to touch it. But let's, go, let's kind of look at it a little bit. So let's start at the front. I mean, it's, all the spokes are rusted. The wheel has some decent amount of air. I mean, cruiser bikes, you want a good amount of air. Like, I run my cruiser bike at home at around 65 PSI. This probably has around 35, which is, you could still ride that for sure, but you wouldn't be as fast. It has these rim brakes that are, uh, they work actually, which is pretty phenomenal, but definitely not amazing. I'm pretty sure this is a 26er. It feels like that, but like, I'm not fully sure. I don't have a tape measure with me currently. And then the fork, all rusted, kind of what you expect, but yeah. So the frame is actually a step-through frame, as you can see, like some graphics. Uh, it is a little bit more secure than like a normal step-through frame that just has like an arch here, like my actual personal one. I mean, I don't really know what frame it is. Uh, someone please tell me in the comments, that'd be cool. But yeah, I guess you could technically work with it. Then the seat, it's, it has suspension, but eh, it's pretty uncomfortable. I wouldn't want to ride with it. Seat post has like these weird ridges in it. I really don't know what that's about. And then I, you get down here to a bash guard, which is kind of cool, but it's like bent and the chain is like falling off. I don't know what's going on. I think there's too much chain or like, like a, no a normal cruiser chain is not going to have this much like sag in it, or like any chain. And like when you pedal back, it sags up there too. It just, it's just a serious problem with it. I don't really know what's going on, but like, yeah, it, I don't really know. So yeah, that's pretty weird. The pedals, yeah, and uh, I've actually seen a really funny thing where a lot of surfers, they don't wear shoes, they don't want to be responsible for them. So I've seen a lot of weird pedals here in Santa Cruz. One, someone taped artificial grass to it. Uh, a lot of them have flat pedals, but I would just like, they look like magnetic pedals, but they're just like flat, so your feet don't get hurt. But a lot of the surfers that use these cruiser bikes to get their surfboard to the ocean, were on flat pedals and they were barefoot to him, which I think is really funny. Chain wheel, or yeah, is has probably around 40 something teeth on it. It's a pretty big one. And then moving to like the rear wheel, as you can see the rim brake, this one is totally seized. It doesn't even move at all. And then it has like a derailleur, but like it's not doing anything, it's sad. And I think it's a five speed here which doesn't do much and like this if I were to like work on this I just make it a single speed like new chain wrap it around one gear yeah but the whole back end is really where it's all messed up and there's actually more PSI in there than there but yeah it's pretty messed up back here as you can see here the rear brake is completely seized like it doesn't move at all and doesn't clench at all but when moving over to the front brake it actually goes in a little bit and it will stop, which is kind of crazy. Like you can see, it's definitely moving, which I think is pretty cool. And then these grips are actually nice. They're like, they seem kind of new and they're BMX grips, it, kind of. I don't really know, they have a piece right here. Pretty nice. Uh, obviously like a bolt coil stem, I don't really know. And then they're actually like sweet back bars, which I think is kind of cool. And one of my favorite parts is the shifter, which actually still moves. Like, uh, I wouldn't want to use it mountain biking because you're trying to downshift and you're up there and stuff. But yeah, it's kind of cool for cruising around. I think it'd be cool to just kind of. But yeah, so this is the bike. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.